standing water, ice over the top, mud that I can't barely steer through. We're in it now. We're in it now. You can see we got snow on the ground between the rows. There was snow on the ears. Um, so that stopped us. You cannot have, well, you can have snow on the ears, but it's got to be awfully cold for the snow to get through the combine before it will melt and then refreeze and plug up your sieves and make a mess of those and then the corn goes out the back. So that stopped us for a few days. We were trucking, fulfilling a corn contract and then uh, it snowed a few flurries and again coated the snow or the, the ears a little bit. So we're going again now, but they're saying two to three inches tomorrow, which is Sunday. And I don't, we'll see. One forecast says only an inch but the beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, are below freezing, even for highs. So unless the sun really is powerful, it won't really melt, but we'll see when we get back to it. We still have more of that corn contract to fulfill. No cart yet either, because uh, that was full of snow. So we got the Nipco heater. I think that just finished melting out. We got one truck full, and then they're gonna go bring another truck over. Try not to make a mess of this person's driveway. So we're just parking the trucks on there and I can reach over the grass with the combine and unload quick. It's only 15 acres here. Getting this field opened up, our driveway here got blocked with a little snow right here. Um, and it turned to ice from a business across the road. I mean, it's, it, it's a mountain, we can't get the trucks through. It's too wet right there in the shoulder, the ditch area. So we're trying to overcome that, but uh, I see something that interests me right there. Right there. I think that's my lunch that got dropped off. Oh, let's see how close we were to cab corn. That alarm is like right at the limit. Like right when it goes off, you better stop. Oh, hello. Yeah, we're leaning a little left. But, uh, real close. I guess I will sit stationary until the grain cart shows up. But I'm kind of in that, like, it's cold outside when I get out to check, so it's nice to have the Carhartt bibs on. Then you get back in here, and then it gets a little warm, so it's just like, millennial problems, but do you wear them or not, or do you put them back on when you get out? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's the dilemma right now. But I'll take that dilemma over other problems we could be having, so, like, snow tomorrow. It warmed up a little bit today. Now it's getting pretty slippery, greasy in the field. So about 10 acres left here in this. We've moved the field now and that'll be 40 acres for the day. That might be it. You almost can't tell that there used to be a lot of horse manure that was uh, spread out right here. The corn gets a lot taller, really nice. Another one all done. Flurries are starting to fly. Uh, but it's not supposed to last for long. The main of, main storm is supposed to be tonight, I guess, but get this moved back. Our next field is up the road, it's 65 acres. We'd like to just go up there and knock it out in all in one day, and we know we won't get it done before the snow tonight. Our other stuff is on the other side of the freeway. Again, another big move that probably isn't worth it for the night. So I think we might be done a little early before the snow, but at least we got something done. Getting her all lined up for fuel. Monday if we can, probably more like Tuesday, Wednesday if it snows. Dryer's steaming away over there. We're gonna try to get the cart back in the shed, or not back in, but just in the shed tonight. I crawled up in there and shoveled the snow down to the bottom today. And we don't wanna have to do that again. So we're gonna see if we can't squeeze it in here. Kinda feels wasteful not continuing to pick, but uh, logistics sometimes dictate that. Oh well. You okay? You okay, bud? No, you're not. You're not okay yet. Here's the new sieve here that's gotta go in. That's the top one. Here's the bottom one. But uh, I think I'm just gonna pull it farther in here and I'll put the cart or the combine setting. That's a unique uh, cab decoration. Ugh. There we go. The combine hopper had uh, antlers. I guess it's starting to feel like Christmas anyways, so might as well dress the combine up like a reindeer. There we go. 
the wet tank actually is pretty full. We didn't get the dryer started too early today just because it'll catch us so fast. But uh, yeah, that's it. Um, we'll see what uh, the snow brings. Depending on how much it snows, we might be trucking Monday. We could be picking Monday. It really depends on what the weather is going to do. But the nice thing is we still have that contract to fulfill and it'll keep us busy and keep our minds off the fact that we can't be getting the crops out. So it's got to get done too, so we might as well get after it. You know, it was a little sunny this morning. I usually just have safety glasses for the day. But I thought maybe if I wore the sunglasses, it would bring the sun out and it would help melt the snow and whatnot. But not the case. Apparently, maybe I'll just not wear them and then maybe the sun will come out and I'll just have to squint. But I'll deal with it if that's what it takes to get the sun out to melt the snow off the corn. That'll work. Peace and quiet. Well, that's it for the night. Take this darn thing off. On our way home, snow's rolling in. They keep backing it down one to two inches now. Anywhere from three to four. Now it's down to one to two inches. It's anybody's guess. So we'll see what it deals us and then uh, we'll go from there on Monday. So with that, you guys have a good night. Be safe as always. Check you later.